When we talk about US shared values and common bonds, let's remember this is a country which is ruthlessly pursuing an espionage case against Julian Assange for publishing information about US war crimes in Afghanistan and Iraq, including attempts to kidnap and kill him. A country that plots regime change and imposes illegal sanctions that kill in every corner of the globe. But of course, the narrative here is that the only choices are that we either keep sucking up to US power as it faces off against China and Russia, or we cut the apron springs, dump billions of euros into military budgets and go it alone with an EU army. Of course, both of these choices are nonsense. The century of American and European supremacy is over. We live in a different, multipolar world that's more interconnected and interdependent than ever before. The main challenge is climate change. Getting it through it will require cooperation, not competition. Europe will either extract itself from reducing US influence and develop an independent, peaceful role or face further irrelevance. China is our biggest trading partner. It's displayed no military hostility to the EU and its claims to be a defensive actor are actually backed up by the facts. Not only that, but last week we had a C, uh, ECFR survey which said that most Europeans actually see China as either an ally or a necessary partner, with only 12% seeing them as an adversity. So when we talk about China's military build-up, can we look at the facts? They're now spending $252 billion last year, which I regret, but it's still 22 billion less than the countries of Western Europe. Compare the population, one quarter and four billion to less than 200 million. So the per capita expenditure is far, far less. It pales into insignificance by comparison with the US at 2,300 a head versus China's $180 a head. So this puts the build up in perspective. So I'd like the speakers to answer the point. Where is the evidence that says China's build-up is a cause for alarm. Is it not a case of catching up? Is it not a country trying to protect itself rather than with a view to foreign military uh, interventions? And will we not be better off, if you like, staying uh, out of the US's games and economic um, demise, really, uh, in terms of this battle? Thanks.